what is up fellas um in this video we're gonna watch a and kind of react to a video from rich tech usa or yeah review tech usa but it, his, his name's rich um rich is rich is out there man he's it's a little crazy. I, I like Rich, but he kind of goes a little crazy with the cucumbers and the roosters and the horses and all, and the shirt off. I want the shirt off. I got a big belly myself. I don't need to see his. <laughs> so, but uh, basically, he's he's talking about the PS5 Pro, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna give this a play. I haven't watched it. I kind of just skipped the road a couple times, so not no idea about the language he uses or anything. So. Well, let's give it a watch, and uh, I'll just kind of talk about it as we go. I don't think at launch. I ain't buying the PS5 Pro at launch. For what? I don't... With that, I'm going to say the same thing. I, I am no, in no interest to go run and buy the PS5 uh, Pro. I got the... We got four PlayStation 5s in this house. Too fast and too slim, so... Um, most of the games I play are still PS PS4 games, so I, I just don't see any reason to upgrade myself. So I'm with them, I agree on that. First off, I haven't really been gaming recently. I'm not even going to lie about it. You guys, you know, contrary to popular belief that I was putting 155 hours in Elden Ring, which I think I would have beaten the DLC three times over by now, I haven't been gaming. Uh, and the little gaming I have done, I do on portable devices, so... I like to play games, but I'm kind of the same way. There's nothing new that's really been hitting hard. I, I like Starfield, but I've um, been playing no, no Man's Sky a little bit with the wife. Other than that, there's there's nothing that's really catching my attention. I remember when Shadow of War hit PlayStation 4, it made me want to go buy a PS4. Um, Starfield made me want to go buy an Xbox. I had nothing made me want to go buy a PS5. I went and bought a PS5, but I don't recall the the reason I wanted it. But yeah, there was there was only something right, but I I cannot recall what why I wanted the PS5 because everything was backwards compatible. But um let's continue. Uh I'm about as excited about t the PS5 Pro as I am about taking a diary issue. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I could feel that. I, I kind of feel the same way. <sighs> it's speculation. If look, we don't know, man. People are weird. Like they could dislike the video into an oblivion, but they could turn around and buy it. I've done that, okay. And maybe even with all the hate, it'll still fly off store shelves. However, I can see a flip side where if it doesn't, they could pull like what uh, Nintendo did with the 3DS. Um, let me open up Streamlabs. Thank you. I heard the manly moan. I don't have any comments towards what he just said. Um, I, I don't follow things that closely. And they may drop it. Oh, like a hundred bucks. I mean, yeah, that's a, Sony's probably, they're seeing that disk drives are being scalped. It's like, I have zero desire for, you know, look, I showed you, I, I'm physical. I like physical, but for gaming, I'm just like, I, I fine. I'll buy all the games digital. My PS5 has an eight terabyte SSD in it. I understand the benefits of physical, but... Uh. So, um, yeah, when it comes to PlayStation 4 or 5 these days, I'm I'm all digital. I just think the discs are taking up too much space. The games aren't really on there. Uh, day one, you always have an update. Uh, and we're talking AAA games. I, I don't want to say anything about the um, indie games because I don't follow them. I'm not to say if they need day one updates or not, but, like, Every like mainstream AAA game, it seems like there is an update for the PlayStation Five or for the Xbox. I don't know enough about Nintendo to say that they're doing that on Nintendo. If you if you're having the same issue on your on your Switch, we're just talking basically the PlayStation and Xbox. Um, 
old games, right? Your old PlayStation 2, they didn't work when they released them. That was a big problem. There's actually one that I recall. Um, MLB The Show 2006. I got to a certain point in career mode that the game would just crash and I could not continue the game. That was that was a pretty big deal. Um, I'm not saying everyone had that issue, but I had that issue where once I hit this point this season, I was done. So the game would not go. It didn't matter what I did. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all digital now because I don't think most of those, the disc would actually work on functional properly without an update you know the whole does it play i still kind of hold to my thing with does it play uh if a game even if it's playable plays like sh i don't consider that a complete product sorry just i'm with them on that you know um i'm a big fan of assassin's creed like odyssey origins i like valhalla but when i bought valhalla i bought the, the still boat case and this is what really did it for me. There was only one gigabyte of that game on there, and I downloaded the rest. I said, what was the point? Because every time I want to play the game, I have to go hunt down that disc that has nothing on it. I can't play that disc at all. That was really what kind of pushed me over the edge there about physical on these new consoles. Would you do that with any other product? Think about it. Not to unearth an old e-drama, but I'm not bringing it up for drama. Imagine if they did that with cars. Does it run? Well, it does run, but the steering wheel actually pulls off and you'll crash into a tree. But you can start the car. Okay, talking about that. My Toyota Tundra, 2022. I've had numerous recalls. So they kind of do it. Like, I, I have a feeling they do it. And then they say, well, we know this is an issue, but we'll fix it when, it, when we can come up with it. I 100% I believe car companies do do that. So I 100%. I and right now there's a recall on our engines, on these Tundras. So, um, and there's something else with the, the gas line causing a fire that has been temporary. They don't have a resolution yet. Um, my wife had a Tundra where there was a brake pad issue. They cut a brake pad in half, you know, or like either the brake pad or the gas pedal. Cut one of them in half. I don't know. Um, on a 2010 Tundra. So, I, I truly believe car companies do the same thing. What? I, I hope that felt good. As I will say, I don't walk around slapping myself on that. So, I hope that felt good. <laughs> it's like, why <laughs> is that acceptable in the gaming industry? Yeah, I kind of feel like 7th Gen really... Yeah, it was kind of, I like, 7th Gen just had something to it, man. Like, everything felt exciting, you know? And it, it, it's like, what I think it is, is games... What is 7th Gen? I, I think that's, is that the PlayStation 3 or is that 6? 7th um, Gen consoles? It, is that the PlayStation 4? No, that's the PS3. Okay, that's what I thought. I 100% agree with that because... Back then, I mean, things were booming. That's when Call of Duty was really on the rise. There was, you go to GameStop and everybody's doing midnight releases. I can't tell you how many midnight releases I went to for the PlayStation 3, where I didn't actually do any for the PlayStation 4 and on. Uh, it's, I don't know. It was it was really crazy, the, the PS3, Xbox 360 era. I'm not saying just the PS3, but the Xbox was actually bigger early on than the, the PS3, but that was uh, that was a great time for gaming for sure uh, but i feel like it's yeah it's it's gone down downhill since then it's just got too expensive and everyone wanted to play it safe and then on top of it too the industry kind of changed you know the, it, even they were talking there was hints i remember going into the seventh gen into the eighth gen that there were talks of them not having an ssd there were talks of them or not having an uh, optical drive. When it comes to drives and stuff, man, I'm, I'm really kind of at them. So I don't have really much to comment on that. And I think what it is, is the gaming companies just don't know what's next. Again, the price of the Pro isn't my issue. The, the, the specs of it justify the price. 
It's just why does it exist? Yeah, but you know, the supply chain did, fu uh, you know, the pandemic did f up the supply chain. I agree. However, it, you know, it also like seemed promising. The demand was insane. I didn't like all the scalping. I thought the scalping was bullshit, but the demand was crazy. And, and so you thought, oh, this generation's promising. The consoles seem like they're fairly capable out of the box, unlike the previous generation. We're good. Oh, man. And then you had like the Steam Deck muddying up the waters where people. Are I don't really have anything to comment on any of that stuff, but uh, let me tell you guys, I work on a computer, like for, for my work, it's on a computer. I I do programming, like cameras and things like that for uh, commercial. I don't, I remote for work. I just don't, when it comes to hard drives and hardware and stuff like that i'm out of it man other than going i can program like do coding i went to school for that I'm not really up to par with it if i spend a few hours a day for a couple of weeks i'd be back on because um they constantly are changing words and things like that in coding like maybe something said print console now it says just print or they constantly change up some of the programming words i can read code still and figure out what's going on pretty easily but um i do but well, writing it i would have to do a whole paper pressure but um other than that i don't know nothing about hardware and stuff like that i'm very i'm very limited on those things people are only excited about graphics up to a certain degree and then it gets to a point where it's like convenience matters more flexibility matters more i'm all about convenience <laughs> and uh on this, the the graphics I like, but I I won't build a PC hardware system like a gaming laptop just to get a little bit better graphics. That ain't my thing. I like plug and play. That's that's a big one. Plug and play for me. The jumps in graphical fidelity that we've gotten in the past, those are you're gone. They don't. You're never gonna have the jumps like you had from the NES to SNES, from the SNES to like PlayStation or N64, you know? The big jump for me was from Atari 2600 to NES. Uh, I actually got a Nintendo stand sitting up here. You can see it. Uh, my wife got from a friend and we went, just got the box and we went and bought some cable. No idea if it worked and put together. But from Atari 2600 to NES was just a massive jump. And um, even from Mario 1 to Mario 3, it just, it feels so much better, Mario 3, from the original. So, yeah. It's never, so, now people are like, wait, I could have this device that if I, all right, I could play it on the go, and it's capable enough, I could dock it. All right, it can't do 4K60, but it could do, there's mother playing, uh, dude, I was playing Call of Duty um, on... ROG Ally? No. Yes. You can get 120 frames. I don't know what he's talking Think about. about. So, 120 FPS, and you have this device that you could play it in your hands. You could play it on the. You could play dock it. Still playing Call of Duty at 120 FPS, unless you want to bring up the speed. You want to go 1080p, maybe a higher setting. So then you could go down to 60. But you get my point. You know what I mean? Um. It's not, it's just Almost a different over. time. You're getting Grandpa excited. All right, so he spent about, what, 30 seconds saying he won't use the PS5, he won't get the PS5 Pro, and then he went off just talking about some other stuff. Um, some of it I understood, some of it I didn't, um, but... I'm kind of on the same boat, guys. I'm in. I'm in no rush to go spend money on a PS5. I think they're going to be like rumors are, seven or eight hundred, eight hundred bucks. Yeah, you know, so no, no interest, no rush. I, I like playing games. I don't play them as much as I used to. Right now, it's because there's nothing. There's nothing really hyping me up to say I got to have this. Um, other than Monster Hunter Wilds, I do want that, but that could be another year. So I'm not really. 
I'm not really rushing for that. That could be March. That could be September. Uh, no idea, right? And maybe the next Far Cry I'd be excited about. The Assassin's Creed. I mean, I'm not... The, the standard Assassin's Creed games, I'm just not into. But I loved Odyssey, which wasn't technically an Assassin's Creed game. It, even though it is, but it's not. Um, Origins was fun too, but it's a little bit more difficult than Odyssey. Valhalla is like an hack and slash. Um, stealth is optional. So, there are those three that were all a lot. Like, all three of those are really good. Valhalla, I thought, was really good too. And they just have a little assassins kind of introduced in there. And they still happen to be kind of like the villain. I don't know. Uh, depends on the way your perspective of that. But, yeah, guys, I think that's it. Um, I uh, I don't think he spent very much time on the actual title of the video, but there was still some interesting stuff in there. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll speak to you guys soon.